Batman Returns is a very interesting film, to say the least. Even though this is not one of my personal favorite movies, to everybody else, they will enjoy this film. Taking place some undisclosed time after the events of the first film, Batman has two enemies to deal with here, those being Penguin and Catwoman. Played by Dan DeVito and Michelle Pfeiffer, respectively. And as well, Michael Keaton returns as the Cape Crusader. I have to say, everybody did a good job in this film. This movie also has Christopher Walken playing one of the antagonists in the this movie as well. And he does a good job here. In fact, I would say the acting is pretty good, obviously. Now, I personally like what they did with the Penguin in this film, simply because in the comics, he was always displayed as a serious businessman type villain. And in this, they turn him into some kind of freak. They mess up his hands, they give him that whitish color. And they tried to really make him act like an actual penguin, you know, eating fish, living in the sewers. And I just felt like that was a step in the wrong direction for this character. I always thought Penguin like deserved better, and this was his first live adaptation of the character here. And even though Dan DeVille did a great job, I still don't like where the character went in this film. Now, as far as Catwoman is concerned, she was good. You know, I didn't like the costume per se. I felt like maybe they could have done the costume better. But all in all, this is not a bad Batman film. I just find this film here decent. And there's some things I don't like about the movie, obviously, but... That doesn't mean that this film's outright bad. There's some joy to be had in this movie for sure. This movie is as well, unfortunately, Tim Burton and Michael Keaton's last appearance as they will leave the project after this film. And it's unfortunate that happened because it really felt like they could have came back for a third film had it not been more brothers interference here. But uh, despite all that, the music is good, the action is average at best. You look at the films, it came out after it. And Michael Keaton just delivers another amazing performance as Batman, Bruce Wayne. And I really felt like they was going somewhere special after this film. And while personally, this is not a favorite of mine. This movie here did do well at the box office, made a whole lot of money. Critically, uh, it's enjoyed by a lot of people. But I'm not one of them that enjoys this film all that much. In fact, going back to rewatch this film, I noticed that this film has aged not that well. Once again, not a bad film, but for those who really like the Batman series, they will enjoy this movie but for what it's worth. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this movie a 7. Like I said beforehand, this film here was decent to me. But I felt like if they had remade the whole character of Penguin, you know, the design of him at least, then maybe I would rank this movie a little bit higher. The reason it is so average to me is because we have gotten better Batman films since this one came out way back in 92. And even though everyone delivered amazing performances here, there was much to be desired. The lack of a secondary villain had hurt this movie somewhat. And I wouldn't really consider Catwoman a villain. She's more like an anti-hero. But uh, nonetheless... This film is considered a classic by a lot of people out there. And I wholeheartedly agree. It's just not my favorite type of Batman movie here. Now, I always wonder where they could have went if Michael Keaton hadn't left after this movie.
But I guess we'll never know the answer to that question. And that's my review of Batman Returns. Leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what you think about this film. How would you compare this to the later Batman films that will come out years down the line? And speaking of the later Batman films, up next is obviously my review of Batman Forever. The second worst Batman film that's ever been released. This is where Warner Brothers stupidly had decided to take the Batman character and make him into a commie, more or less. In other words, they took the Batman franchise and tried to turn it into a family film, which was a big mistake. I have a lot of problems with Batman forever, and I'm going to pull him out clear as day in my next review. Alright, this is Slum Guy 172 saying, peace out.